y'all. So I thought I would hop on and show you two really cool um, tricks that you can do with your Savvy Minerals um, makeup. So um, I'm going to show you how to get this really easy eye and how to get a nice bold lip like that. Um, one of the main things that I've heard from a lot of different people is that they wish that Young Living would have um, um, included some darker, bolder colors in the, the Savvy Minerals line. And most of them are kind of muted and on the pink side. And so for people who don't really like pink lips or nude lips, they're kind of like, hmm, okay, what am I supposed to do? Well, I'll tell you. Um, you can do a couple of different things. Um, you can um, put on some of the Passionate Blush, if you have that on your lips before you apply one of the lipsticks. You can also use the multitasker if you wanna go even darker and, and more warm in tone. That's what I did today. I just put a little bit of multitasker on my finger and I put it on my lips. And then I applied the Daydream, or Daydream, yeah, Daydream lipstick right over the top, just like that. It didn't get on the thing. It's all nice and the same and everything. And I have a nice bold, bold lip. And um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the lip gloss embrace right there in the middle. Just for a little bit of shimmer. There we go, so that's how you get a nice bold lip. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this eye on this eye. I have a little bit left over um, from, from my very long day. I applied my makeup at like 5.30 this morning. So, um, so I'm just going to start really quickly by putting a um, base coat um, of Best Kept Secret on my lid, just as like a nice base color. And then I'm going to use a mixture of Spoiled and Wanderlust, but you could use either or if you don't have both of them. And I'm just gonna put that on the moving part of my lid down here just for a little bit of color and sparkle right there and a little bit of brightness. And then I'm going to take a little bit, sorry, I'm digging for brushes here. I'm gonna take a little bit of, um, what is it called, Determined, which is the brown sort of, let's see if I can swatch it for you here is this color right here. It's the brown shimmery shade. And I'm gonna kinda make a wedge shape right here in the outer third of my eye, okay? And if you hear my family in the background, they're being very resentful that I asked them to just not yell while I, I didn't ask them to be quiet, I didn't ask them to stop doing what they were doing, I just asked them to not yell and they're having a heart attack about that. But I'm just gonna make a wedge shape here in the outer V, almost like a little half of a triangle there in that outer outer third of the eye and then just kind of buff out that, that corner a little bit. Actually, I need to do that one a little bit more. Okay, and, um, and then to add just a little bit more definition at the lash line, I'm gonna take a little smudger brush, but you can use whatever brush you have that kind of has a little flat end on it. And I'm gonna dip it in the Jet Setter Eyeliner and I'm just gonna follow, actually, I need, <laughs> I need an actual mirror for this. I'm just gonna follow the lash line right on like the outer half of the eye and kind of meet, meet up and fade into, see, fade into where I have the diffused, the um, determined, and then I'm gonna just flick it a little bit into that outer corner just to kind of make like a little wedge shape, to kind of mimic, I'm mimicking the shape that I made with Determine, but I'm just doing it smaller. So, so there you go. And then I'm just gonna finish off by adding a little bit of Wanderlust in that inner corner there, just to add a little bit of a highlight, just on that tear duct area. And then I'm gonna top off my mascara because I've probably gotten some minerals on there. And it's really nice. It helps to elongate your eye a little bit because you do have the gradient of the light to dark. Um, and, it and it also kind of pulls it up a little bit because you make that wedge shape there in the outer corner. And it gives you the definition at the lash line, but you leaving the bottom clear, it helps to open up your eyes even more. 
So this again is another look just like kind of similar to the one that I did. The look isn't similar, but like the one that I did in my makeup playtime video, it's a look that can be flattering on pretty much every eye shape, no matter what. I did the same look on a friend of mine who, who has like half the lid space that I have. Um, and it looked wonderful on her too. So, um, and you could pare it down. You could use, and you could use different products. You could do Best Kept Secret all over, and just do this outer V with the multitasker, this outer like wedge, the bigger wedge with the multitasker, and then go in with the jet setter. Um, you know, you can just kind of mix it up and and use the colors that you like best. So anyway, I hope that that was helpful and inspiring for you to think of kind of different ways to to use the makeup and and get some flattering looks out of it and um, and make it suit your taste and and your um your preferences um it is very adaptable and and the fact that it comes in these little pots and little powders and stuff you can mix it up and just have a lot of fun with it so i hope this will inspire you to go ahead and try some things and if you do please put those down in the comments and let me know and show me some pictures of your looks i would love to see that um if y'all have any questions about any of the stuff you can pop those down in the comments too also give this video a like and if you're not already subscribed i would love it if you would subscribe i also have have a Facebook group called Savvy Girls Guide if you'd like to join me there and I'm on Instagram as well Savvy Girls Guide underscore YL um, I would love to see you there as well so um, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time bye